Welcome back to Sailing Ruby Rose from the Saigon Shipyard. It is the 2nd of February. What did I promise you all last time? This, a boom, sails, stang and rigging, running rigging. It is all so close to being finished and the inside is just as epic. Keep watching, this is gonna be fantastic. Yeah. So welcome back, beautiful people. I'm about to get on hole number one. I'm gonna do the whole cold call thing, which essentially is, I'm not gonna go and tell you in advance what's on board, because I don't know myself. But rather than falling on this eight foot, whoop, whoop, I am on board. I had talked to Mr. Khan and he has told me that this, is, this boat is almost ready to launch. So things that you may not have noticed before, those carbon fiber davits all on board and wrapped up. And similarly, just gonna step on the cockpit, almost complete, bar the wheels, I can see. Everything's done here. Now, don't forget the upholstery needs to go in at the very last, very, very last. But trifold door is in. We can have a look at the trifold door. All these headlining panels that you may not have seen before are now in place. So we have something which is structurally complete, if not aesthetically complete. But all this is done. And interestingly, the seat bases are in. As we walk around the cockpit, I just want to show you the cockpit areas. Obviously, this all needs to be cleaned up and polished. But look, as we come down here, this. The fact that this isn't actually the bench, but there's a lovely stainless steel frame there. I like that. I like that. Well done, Mirion. Well done, Mirion. Again, lines in place, trifold door in place. Pooch. It is all looking pretty damned epic. And let's just head forth into here. Now, what do we have? Galley is in place. James is not here today. So I can probably have a little look around without him being here. But let's just give you the slow sweeping panning shot of everything. So as we go past, we have benches already, everything done here. The fans are now in. We have fans. The windows are all in. But this is where it gets super interesting. The galleys is complete. Now I'm going to pry away some of this and show you what it looks like. So the sink's in place galley's in place, the chart table is in place. This really is final, final fit out. Epic, 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 epic. And now the nav station, this, this. Just take a look at it. I don't even really need to talk. It is beautiful. Miriong has designed a sweeping curve. It's not often you're gonna hear the word sweeping curve when it comes to boat design, but this is beautiful. This area here, these little plastic gauges will all be covered. This desk, the nav station desk, everything mitered, the edges beautifully finished. It is stunning. Okay, now I'm gonna quick chat with Danny. So take your shoes off, go downstairs slowly. So we've got this, uh, the flooring is all in, hence the lack of shoes. Do not allow him. I'm still going. Going up, but ooh. So the flooring is all in. The bedding is the bed, not the bedding. The bed, the the the, the, the master cabin, complete. The walk-in wardrobe, flooring all done in here, looking amazing. It's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Patches. Now what we've got here, the LED lights are all now in and hidden conveniently behind that panel. This all looks beautiful, double-faced, good. And now for those of you who wanted to know what the doors look like when they're all in and ready and waxed, this looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, really, really, really beautiful. And just to, just to, this is an option. We didn't want this option. We actually wanted a desk here, the extra storage for us, for a boat that needs to save weight. We don't need this much space. So yeah, we, are, we have opted for a different configuration here. But yeah, it looks amazing. Now let us go and take a look at the foredeck, like a farmer leaving the farmhouse to go and see his crops. I meander slowly outside with my trusty sheepdog and stuff. But what have we got here? Not a great deal to see because so much has already been done. The mast is on, the boom is on, and something that I do want to show you is the capture system for the mainsail. Innovative and lightweight, designed by James and everyone at the team at Seaman. 
pretty impressive. And if you remember everything that went on with Ruby Rose and dropping the main cell, this is going to be a game changer for us. Those huge bore windows, those big windows, large enough to get a sheep through and also to fly a drone in and out of. Mousing still needs to be completed. There are electronics that still need to be completed. There is no radar on here, but we really are at final fit out. This boat is now due for launch in about two weeks. And so apart from lines that need to be run through, which essentially is Lucas's job when Lucas actually gets out of bed, it is just for that to be done. That's pretty straightforward. Sails are all on and as soon as there is a light wind day, James is going to be up there making sure that everything is run properly, that everything is smooth. Lots of carbon fiber, that carbon fiber bowsprit in place for the asymmetric when we get it flying. And you're going to be seeing that from Doyle sails very, very soon. We are super excited. So four deck of hole number one. For those miserable bastards that keep going, but this isn't your boat, why are you showing us your boat? Because our boat is not finished yet, and for the hundredth time to the very few naysayers, we do need to test out this boat and make sure that everything is right before we replicate any potential issues with further hulls. This is and will need to be test out first. So let us take you, that little uh, discretion and digression aside, let's take you up onto the coach roof. Now, bear in mind, I'm doing this while carrying a camera. So how stable, how safe am I? Not that I will be doing this at sea, maybe I will. Oh, straight up, straight up. For those of you that may have chartered catamarans, how many of you could do that? Yes, I understand that I am in a static position, that this boat is not healing, but I'm also carrying a camera. Anyway, so where are we? Black carbon sails. These are the GPL light skins that we are having on Ruby Rose 2. Gonna look epic, epic, epic. Ronstan cars. Gooseneck all in place there. And everything now rigged. I'm not sure it's fully tensioned yet, but we're getting there. Now, other things that you may remember from previous talks with James or otherwise, the net that is in place to hold the sails to make sure that when you drop everything, that has now been completed. And I will try to pull this aside without disturbing anything. And that's so there we are that whole system of lightweight brackets to make sure that when the sail drops, everything flakes perfectly. So you're spending less time up here and more time sipping your martini or traveling across the globe. It all looks amazing. It does. It looks absolutely bloody stunning. And there's not a lot to do here now, except for just give the place a damn good wash and get the last lines and sheets on. Four sails need to go on. But yeah, we're, we're just about done. I'm, uh, surprisingly emotional about this. This is not our boat, but it's been a long, long journey, difficult journey, but honestly, one of the best things I've ever done. I know people always say, oh, your boat is so delayed, your boat is so delayed, but out of this has come some really good stuff and I am happy and proud to be in Vietnam. But yeah, soon to be sailing, soon to be sailing, I'm not even sure where, but we will be sailing very soon. Teresa and I will be sailing the, the oceans together again and uh, making videos at sea, which I know that a lot of you are, are, are very, very much looking forward to seeing. But yeah, I'm very, very happy, very, 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 very proud to be part of this project. Keep watching, we'll be sailing soon. We're in February, this boat has been launched in February, so we're almost there. This month, this boat will be in the water and they are now at absolute final fit out. So if you've enjoyed this, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. This boat is going in the water super quickly and I'm super happy. I will be super happy to be on board, test sailing it with you and for you all. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.